So there's a bunch of tools um, that um, that we use. Uh, I've kind of mentioned organizational rewilding, uh, and that's that's often a place um, we'll start just to to provide a consistent structure of how we'll approach and understand you know the challenges within the business. But there are quite a number of other tools. So um, another one is um, OKR, so objectives and key results. Objectives and key results are kind of like a balanced scorecard, uh, sometimes kind of like KPIs, but they are around ensuring that the strategy and the objectives you have to achieve that strategy are tracked throughout a whole organization. So ultimately you'll, you'll design an objective or a bunch of objectives, and you'll then have targeted key results attached to each objective. Now, if you think about it, we might have them at the leadership team level or at the, the, the CEO level. Um, but you then want to cascade them down through the organization. Uh, so, you know, you might have an overall objective that's for marketing and, uh, and some key results you want to achieve in the next quarter or the next year. Um, and you, then you might have your, uh, your advertising and your sales and your, your support that might be sub ones one under that. You actually want to be able to visually track those. And also to, if there are key results that may say may come from an external software like HubSpot, for example, you could actually use a software like GTM Hub, um, of which I'm a, a partner with, uh, to actually be able to track those objectives and key results. So you can then pull that all together and actually provide visibility within the whole, whole organization of how those objectives and key results necessarily are, uh, that they're all in place to start. And secondly, how we're tracking against them. And you can look at it, you know, per month, per quarter, annually, and you can even move, move forward depending on, on how you want to design them and structure them for the organization. So that's one, another tool. Uh, as well as that, we are safe practicing consultants. So what that means is that uh, safe is scaled agile and it's about trying to eliminate waste through that process. So agile has come from lean and software. And it's, it's about creating quick feedback loops, particularly with end customers. But it's the same concept even internally of how do we actually look at our work? How do we get the feedback loops quickly? And how do we collaborate across, across an organization and not necessarily end up in silos, which ultimately what happens with a lot of medium to largest businesses is they create these silos of departments that then don't talk very well to each other. So agile then allows us to actually bring that together and to collaborate a lot more effectively and focus on the end customer. Um, so the objectives and key results and Agile and bringing them together, well, they work really well together. They can be implemented separately and small, small, medium businesses probably are not going to need an Agile approach because they're, they're probably small enough to be already Agile and they're probably using a lot of those tenants of Agile anyway.